Hey guys, Andrew here with Dadverb. Today we're gonna be diving into the Uppa Baby Cruise V2 and discuss whether or not you should buy this or a double like the Vista V2. Now, before we start, please hit that like button down there. You guys have been crushing our like goals recently and it really helps other parents find these reviews. So the Cruise is arguably my favorite stroller I've ever reviewed and I've covered a lot on this channel. People often ask like, you know, how does this compare to Silver Cross or Mockingbird or Peg Perigo, the list goes on. Uh, and in, in most cases, I would probably take the Cruise over any other. Uh, in our father figured course, this is a top five recommendation in our in-depth stroller breakdown. And by, uh, by the way, father figured is like our pregnancy prep course for guys. Get it for your husband and your partner. It's a great resource instead of reading baby books. Now, looking at the frame of the Cruise V2, it looks very different from the original model and now feels a, like a slimmed down version of the Vista V2. They've made a ton of great improvements here. And we're gonna start with the seat, which has a longer leg rest and seat back for more longevity. Like before, it is reversible for forward or rear facing usage. And in comparison to other seats on the market, Up a Baby is on the larger side, which is great. Uh, similar to what we see with say, you know, Silver Cross. Uh, and it can carry littles up to 50 pounds. In most cases, kids up through age three or four-ish are gonna be able to ride in it comfortably before aging out. The stroller and seat weigh in at about 25 pounds, which is two pounds lighter than the Vista V2, but four pounds heavier than the original Cruise, which I've heard is you know a little bit of a deal breaker. But for me, it isn't that bad because first, you're getting a lot more versatility here. And second, it still feels like a light midsize option with a compact design in comparison to others that I've tested. Lifting it into your trunk is not a problem at all, and it feels way easier than a full-size stroller. Now, if you saw my review of the Vista V2, I love the canopy, which is the same on the Cruise. Uh, this design is kind of becoming industry standard by unzipping and expanding one extra panel uh, for extended coverage, which is a switch away from the UV protection flap of the prior model. Uh, the canopy is also height adjustable to accommodate littles of varying ages. At the bottom, we've got big improvements to the wheels as they are larger at the front and back compared to the first version. And that's where some of the added weight is coming from. Uh, they've also added suspension from the support strut that you see here. Now, these two improvements make the Cruise arguably the best in class for terrain capability, giving an easy push over cobblestone and gravel and grass compared to other midsize strollers. Another note is with other options, it's not uncommon to see some wobble at the front wheels as the axle wears over time, but with the recent redesign for the V2, that's no longer an issue. Now, even with the larger seat and wheels, this thing does fold down smaller compared to the original, and it's really similar to how the Vista folds. Uh, it's a two-handed fold that begins by engaging the triggers on either side of the chassis and folds down quickly. It can self-stand and rests on the rubber bumpers uh, of the handlebar so it doesn't you know, jack up the leather. The profile of the fold is among the best that I've seen as options like uh, the Silver Cross Dune, Kalugo, uh, Mockingbird, all tend to jut out a little bit more than I'd like. Uh, the Cruise folds much slimmer in comparison and fits so much more easily in the trunk of my sedan. At the bottom is a larger basket, which again is reminiscent of its big brother, the Vista. Uh, a little different though is the brake, which is a dual pedal system rather than a single pedal. Uh, and then at the top is your handlebar, which can be adjusted with one hand. I think even tall parents, you know, 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 would find this pretty comfortable to push without really hunching over. Now, one thing to note is all the internal mechanics that make the brake and the fold and, and the handlebar adjustments function are all wire-based systems that are, they're pretty small and intricate, but what you get with a brand like Up a Baby is a pedigree of quality and durability. So these things don't break down on you over time. Which leads me to some of the other things beyond the cruise that Up a Baby is really able to tack on to their products that you may not be thinking about, that might not be so top of mind when you initially buy something like the cruise. So sort of like Apple, you're buying into an ecosystem rather than just you know, a one-off product. For example, if you plan on traveling, you can get their travel bag and register your products. If any damage is incurred in transit, it'll be covered with their travel safe guarantee program. Uh, and this is something that you're not gonna find very often beyond common warranties. Now that's an add-on, but it is something that I would definitely recommend and something that I have used in the past. 
Now other add-ons to check out, their snack tray, it's a great thing to swap out the handlebar with. And then a personal favorite of mine is the piggyback attachment, which opens up that double expansion capability. I've only ever had two issues with Uppa Baby products and they weren't cruise specific. Uh, first, the locking mechanism kept kind of catching on my Vista so it wouldn't really fold smoothly. Uh, and then second, the canopy of my original menu broke. So, you know, not common issues, but the point is they were rectified fast because the brand is just really good at delivering on customer service. Uh, the menu situation actually happened while we were on vacation and they fixed it for us like on the go. It was incredible. Uh, so, you know, when you're, buy when you're buying into a premium brand like Up A Baby, you know, it might seem really daunting and expensive at first, uh, but there is a reason why they have such a high resale value compared to other brands when you look at through, you know, Facebook Marketplace. Last thing we're gonna cover here is infant adaptability, which I probably should have covered this a little bit earlier. Sorry about that. Uh, the toddler seat can accommodate newborns with their kit. You can also get their bassinet add-on, uh, but our preference has just been to use their Mesa seat, which adapts natively. Uh, it's worked for us for years, we've loved it, but we're very much looking forward to the release of their new Mesa V2 very soon. So look for that review on this channel down the line. So that's a look at the Cruise V2 and some of its key features. Overall, it's crazy how they were able to make this thing bigger, but slimmer, if that makes sense. This is a phenomenal option to register for. Now, the two biggest questions that I get are, do I really need a double like the Vista or can I just stick with the Cruise? And the second question is, Cruise or Mockingbird? To answer the first question, it's kind of difficult because we thought that we needed the Vista for you know double expansion without a shadow of a doubt. We knew that we were you know planning multiple kids down the line and that this would be a great choice. And it was fine, it was great, we, we enjoyed it. But in retrospect, a single is probably all we really needed because as our littles got older, they didn't really use the stroller as much as I thought that they would. Uh, if anything, they were on the piggyback attachment way more than sitting in their actual seats. So. For that reason, if I were to do this all over again, I think I would have actually probably picked something like the Cruise uh, as a double wasn't as essential as I thought it would be. Uh, the convenience of a, of a lighter weight, slimmer body, you know, stroller, you know, it fit our lifestyle way more. Now for the second question, Mockingbird or Cruise, which is the better stroller? Listen, I'm, I'm a brand ambassador and advocate for Mockingbird. I love the brand and I've reviewed it on this channel plenty. I've used it for years. But if you're asking me which is the better stroller, it's not hard to say that technically speaking, Up A Baby has a leg up regarding overall quality and design. I wouldn't say like the margin's massive, but like the cruise is best in class. So to answer the question that I get a lot, if money wasn't a factor, which would you get? I would get the Cruise. So that's my review of the Upper Baby Cruise V2. If you want to find it, it is linked down below. Buying through that link helps support this channel. It's at no additional cost to you guys. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button down there. It looks like a thumbs up. For more videos and reviews for young families, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video and come back for the next one. God bless. Later.